I look at my metal from 2015 and I hate that fucking metal. It's because because I didn't do it right, you know? It's like second place. I, I got second place in 2015. I should be proud of that result. I was the second fittest man in the world. But I just look at that and I'm just like, you know, I fucking hate that year. Um, because I'm not proud of the effort I put in. I'm not proud of the corners I cut, you know? The whole whole 2016 season, that's all I kept thinking about was the 2015 season, you know? This isn't my side hobby anymore, you know? All I could think about was like, what if I did that, dedicated everything, and I never win it? What if I'm just that guy that always got second place and then disappeared? You call it a hobby, I call it a way of life, no way that you can stop me. You know that I've been training right, the more you try to block me, the more that I control the fight, and now you on the ropes, now you on the ropes, what you gon' do? Quitting's not an option, that voice in your head that keeps telling you you got this, lie to you, and now everybody's watching, you should've worked a little harder, cause man your punches are garbage. Stop when I win. Started as a dream, grew into reality, made a lot of sacrifices. That's how it has to be. I give it everything I got. Ain't no way you pass me. I know we're in the same profession, but you're not a match for me. I'm on another level. I'm on another level. I said I'm on another level. On another level. about being the best of the best. You're talking about will now. You're talking about heart now. You're not talking about physicality. You're not talking about how you look. You're not talking about how strong you are. You're not talking about how tall you are, how fit you are. You're talking about will. You're talking about when you get to the point where it's two people and somebody got to tap out before the other person taps out. Will. 
hearts. And so it is a mentality. There was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money, and so he went to this guru, right? He told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. Like the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow. 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit, should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. Hey, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had him right around in this area. The shoulder area. So this old man crazy. He making money with him crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. He was right at his mouth. My man like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I knew. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man getting scratching, holding him down. I got you. I know you brushed it out, but I got you. He had him held down. I need you for an illustration. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. Somebody answered the question for me. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? For a different word, though. What's that word? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You gotta be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got to, somebody came to my office the other day crying. I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me, I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flips, you can be excited when we give away money, but listen to me, you will never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. You won't be successful until you say, I don't need that money, because I got it in here. Seth, somebody came up to me. Hey, said, E.T., man, I'm tired, E.T. I'm tired, E.T. I put in the work, E.T. I'm not seeing the results, E.T. I'm ready to give up, E. I'm ready to give in, E. Come on, E. You, I did what you told me to do. I read the book you told me to read. I put in the hours you told me to put in. E, I'm doing it, and I'm not seeing anything. Listen to me closely. Listen to me closely. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you. But doors start opening. Opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up 
what you got to do is champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That's the difference between the greats. That's, that's what separates them. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. Are you hearing me? It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breathe, breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. Listen to me, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, when you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you could think about them, you could go one more mile. You could go one more day at work. You could find a, you can find a scholarship. Listen to me, when you're doing it for somebody else, when you like that lion, if I don't grind, if we don't grind, if I don't grind, they don't eat. The truth is, you got to find something within. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is and your why got to be deeper than you, when you find your why, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. You see, you see, this is why I work. This is why I grind. This is why I work. This is why I grind. This is why I work. This is why I grind. This is why I hustle.